Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to handle Chrome browser notifications using Selenium. So let's get started. First of all, what are these Chrome browser notifications? Let me show you directly. I'll open this Chrome browser and here I'll browse just dial dot com some sample application. So when I am browsing this application, you see I got a notification. This notification is coming from this application from the Chrome browser. OK, if you are browsing this particular application in the Chrome browser, then you are going to get this Chrome browser notification. How to handle this notification in order to handle this particular notification? We have to disable this. OK, we should not get this particular notification while automating using Selenium. How to disable this particular notification from the Chrome browser using Selenium? I'm going to explain that. For that, I'll open this Eclipse IDE where I have some sample Selenium automation code already written for opening the Chrome browser, for maximizing the browser, and for browsing this application URL. By default, you will get the Chrome browser notification. You can see that. Let me run this script. You will get that Chrome browser notification asking you to allow our block. Let's wait for the script to run. You see it's browsing just dial.com and you are going to get this Chrome browser notification from just dial.com. Fine. I don't want to get this. What I have to do for that guys I have to change this particular script a bit. So here I'll write Chrome options. I need to create an object for the Chrome options class. Chrome options options is equal to new Chrome options. Like this, I'll create an object for the Chrome options predefined class. Hover the mouse on this Chrome options and import it from Selenium library. And now say options dot add arguments. Inside this add arguments, provide double quotes and provide hyphen hyphen disable hyphen notifications. Okay, this is what you have to write guys. Okay, this is the step you have to write. Now if I run this code, will you get the notification handled? Okay, will be will be this notifications be disabled? The answer is no guys. Okay, I'll tell you the reason. So even though I have written written this uh, two steps, but still you will not see any difference. Okay, you will get the same uh, Chrome browser notification coming that is allow and block will come. This time also, I'll explain the reason, guys. Okay, you see, it will browse and you'll get that notification. You see, you still got the notification despite of writing this particular two lines of code. The reason behind is even though you have written these two steps, these options need to be passed inside this Chrome driver constructor. Okay, when uh, uh, you just added this argument for this particular option, but this option is not applied to this Chrome browser. OK, this is where the Chrome browser is launching, right? So Chrome browser should launch with this particular options. OK, these options are setting the disabling of the notifications. Now, after adding these options into this Chrome driver constructor, then only the code will work correctly. This time, if I run, you will not get that notification, guys. You will not get that Chrome browser notification. We will be able to successfully handle the Chrome browser notification. OK, this time you see just dial.com will be browsed and uh, no notification will be displayed. No Chrome browser notification will be displayed. You see it successfully browsed and you didn't get any Chrome browser notification asking you to allow our block. So hope guys you got the answer for this interview question. Okay, this is how we need to handle the Chrome browser notifications in Selenium. So that's it guys. See you in the next question. Thank you. Bye.